A cartoon of colorful sweets displayed like that of Michelangelo's works. Behind a clear prison of glass, keeping me away. Behind the depths of sugary wonders moves a man, clean. His black noose tight around his neck, contrasting the whitest of shirts. If you are a local in this city, you have an inherited status, one that is nearly inescapable, at least in the minds of the tourists. You are inferior to the iconic historical figures that had once resided here, Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, Brunelleschi, Galileo, Ghiberti, Vasari, and you are overlooked by their magnificent works. In a way, their works are extensions of themselves. Take, for example, Michelangelo's David, with his vain stare and handsome, some say perfect physique, which towers over onlookers. Perhaps the way people look at the David is how he wanted to be looked at. Or take Brunelleschi's Duomo, going against anything that has been tried before, a true innovator, a true legend. However, when you look closer, you can see. You can see that art is all around you, beneath the iconic figures, in the cafes, the markets, the streets, the food, the wine, wherever. You just have to look. The man, without knowing, breaks through the inherited status that comes with living here, and makes a name among a city of godly names. Not a second to rest, turning and twirling through the air, the man transforms, full of energy, and multiple limbs, each assigned a specific duty. One of the hands emerges from the others, reaching slightly to the right, but waist level, grasping a shiny handle attached to an equally shiny rectangular door. Thud, thud. The undesirable waist falls into the abyss soon. Another hand emerges, phalanges landing on the silvery triggers, click, click, spilling a brown stream. Not a second's hesitation, his body moves left. Click, clack. Quickly, another hand springs, grabbing a pearly white cup. One more hand triggers a caramel-colored stream to fall from the mothership and into the pearly tomb. The quick-paced dance from the man wearing white is full of harmonious transitions, like a ballerina gliding across her stage, only to end with the pearly white tomb before me. In it lay a caramel-colored pond and amidst its foamy surface, a milky-white chocolate flower, a musical note as clear as can be on such a canvas. What talent, what art, 